Hi, my name is Thomas Kim. In this session, we will install MPIR, Multiple Precision Integer and Rationals, on MCS2 or MinGW64. This installation is for use with GNUG++ on command line on Windows. Please visit this website, double clicking it. Please note that this session continues from my previous video, install MCS MinGW, GNU, G++, you have to watch this video. I will put the link in the description section. So here, download source code and the documentation, right click, save link as, and save documentations. When download is complete, show in folder, then unzip it. Before we install MPIR, we need to make a few changes to our settings. Start MinGW. Say PWD command. In my case, my name is Thomas Kim and there is a blank space here. I want to remove this blank space in folder name. Okay. Then we can say MKPASSWD. You, Thomas Kim, I will make it a little bit bigger. Then L, try this command. In your case, you have to put your, your name, your username. If you have blank space like this, then we, we, it can be problem in some, sometimes. So here, like this, put command like this, etc. PASSWD. It creates a password file like this. Type enter. Then we can close it. Now open the installation folder here. MCS2. We installed MCS2 uh, in our previous video here. Uh, etc. Scroll down. Password file, right click, edit. Uh, if you view it without word wrapping, it looks like this. And scroll to the end of the file. Now remove it. Remove the blank space here. Save. Then you can close it. If you see this, MC2, MC64 home. Currently, my folder name, this is my folder name, my root folder name in MC, MC64. There is a blank space. Here, start MC2 again. Then you see the new folder is created. Since I have no files here, I can select, I can remove it. Like this. Okay. Now this is PWD. There is no space now. At this point, we can make MKDIR uh, tools, uh, builds. We can make a folder like this. Then you can find the builds here. Now, in download folder, download folder, I will copy this folder, copy. I copied and I pasted it here. While it is copying before before we before we install uh, MPIR, we have to install YASM. You can install like this. Pack man S Y A S M. Okay? We have to install this program first. So we are downloading, yes. Enter, yes. Okay, why? Now, YASM version gives 1.3. Okay, it should be installed. DIR, CD, Bills, DIR, CD, MPIR, 3.0.3, 0. 
here, TIR, you have to see something like this. Now we we are uh, configuring the first the very first step is we have to configure for configuration we can use command like this. like this this is not actually needed because i am using 64 bit 64 bit window we are installing 64 bit but this is default so please copy this command like this i will explain one by one here configure abi 64 it's a 64 bit with YASM, okay. We are giving YASM uh, pass user YUSR BIN YASM like this. Yeah, this is this means we will use YASM assembler. Assembler's pass is here. If you see it, user BIN. Here you can find YASM. Yeah, this one, okay. So we are using YASM. Then we enable here. Enable uh, CXX. We enable C plus plus, and we disable disable static. We disable static library. Please note that you should not uh, give carriage return. Then enable shared like this. We are creating DLL libraries here. Then enter. It will take some time. For more information about installation, you can open. Here, please note that we are installed. We are in this folder right now. This is your folder build here. And if you scroll down, right click, open. Okay, then you can refer to this message. Currently, we are at this stage. Now, make sure the here dir. Make this give this command. You have to find make files here. Make files should be created. Then we are giving this command make enter. It will take some time. Now the next step is we we have to check here. We have to check after install. Make check enter. We are checking if the build is successful. When make check command is completed, please scroll up and make sure pass there is no error. Also scroll up, no error, pass. Everything should be passed like this. You should have no error. If you have error while, while checking, then you probably have to clean up, first clean up, then uh, make configuration again, generate the configuration file again, give here some different switches, then build again, then check again until you have no errors. Since I have no error here, I will now install, make, install. Now let's test if it works successfully here dir and this command moves to root of our folder cd yeah this is pwd cd yeah this is root folder make a, a folder uh, test cd test here we will make a sample program by mm. hello gmp 
MPIR, CPP, okay? Include. So let's open our documentation here that we downloaded. Open it in Adobe here. CPP, CPP. Please refer to this this documentation. Include MPIR xx.h this header file include io stream then uh, int main uh, M mpz class a b c a equals 1 b equals 2 C equals A plus B, C D, C out, hello, hello, M P I R, C, S D D, and there. Okay, we created a s simple program like this. Then we save. ESC W colon W and we save we quit okay then G plus uh, plus yeah G plus plus hello MPIR CPP then we have to give this these messages link option L M P I R M P I R X X L M P I R okay then output uh, H E X -E. H E X E I made a mistake here so we have to fix code ESC W right then kit okay H you have to do like this EXE okay hello MPIR now it works in next session we will imp we will uh we will talk more about MPIR and also GMP Thank you for watching.